Hey everybody, Cosmos here, back again with Slay the Spire. We actually finally got a win last time around with the Silent. I'm gonna jump in with the Ironclad, and I'm gonna try to keep up doing, you know, more interesting things than just, you know, taking the best, only the best cards or whatever. For example, take a utterly random card. Uh, maybe we'll try to build around it. Maybe we won't. We shall see. So fairly standard. Decent first turn for starting. You know what? Just whack him. We can heal this damage as long as we don't. There we go. Just whack. And you're dead, sir. Um. I would still like to try to build around Impervious. Uh, how shall we do that? Nah, that's not really a good pairing with it. Let's just go ahead and remove a card. We'll hold on to the rest of our cash. What little tiny bit it is. And... Whack you with that. Whack you with that. Should be able to finish them both off next turn. Right. Weakness. Okay. Still able to take him down. Possibly primarily due to the vulnerability on his part. Reaper, I almost always like taking Reaper. Okay, what can we get out of this? Uh, watch out for the Decay, but we already got one of the cards. Madness, eh. Was it? No, that close line was down there, wasn't it? I'm not sure how I feel about those cards. And we'll just block through that. Impervious, honestly, though, we kind of want a barricade to go with it. Okay, so let's do this and hope for... Nope. Really hoping to hit the Reaper. Well, there it is. We don't need it right now, but still. Would have liked for it to have been free. I do have, like, a free block. So, let's see... Oh, just ever so close. Uh, um... I think we can probably take you down. Yes, we can. Okay. Bloodletting... Yeah, I'm fine with that, especially with us having Reaper. Let us upgrade our Bash. Now, things on this run look like we might want to try to come across... It's a terrible first turn. Uh, if we get the opportunity for Sneko's Eye, we will take it again. Because, well, we've already got, what, a good three? No, that's questionable. I, I don't think that was worthwhile at all. This might be. Mostly prevents damage there, and... Yeah, we can manage to kill him this turn. Not bad. Uh, Metallicize, I mean, we seem to be going towards defensive stuff, so... Let's continue pushing towards that, and maybe we can get a good defensive build going. Maybe not. We shall see. I much prefer targeting upgrades rather than elites. Typically, I prefer to do my elite fighting on the second floor. First floor, I'm not prepared enough, so they kind of tend to wreck me. And third floor, they're just bloody brutal. Okay, a little strength gain. Nice to kind of stack on to... Uh, well, it'd be nice to have some attacks, wouldn't it? At least we got something down. Alright, get rid of that. Now, this is kind of silly for right now, but that's the kind of thing that will help over the course of this. We are down a bit of HP, and I think I can do enough to make you split. Obviously, it would have been better to do that after they were split. Maybe not the smartest way to handle that. Well, let's say definitely not the smartest way to handle that. Still, nobody striking when I want you to. 
just mishandling this, getting the cards at the perfectly wrong time. This, however, is rather pleasing. I, you know, should have just played Impervious. Would have taken less damage that way. Still, not attacking, are you? Like, that whole hand, just completely useless. There we go. And, obviously, he's dead next turn, since... About to say, about thought I didn't get an attack there. And we'll just keep stacking up the max HP. Now here, I will bloodlet. That, one of these, boom. Prevents more damage than we take. Okay, metallic size is lovely. And you know what? I am going to poison this jerk. And I'm also going to prevent this armor down. Well, further armor down. Okay, so... Yes, he hit Reaper. Perfect. So now... Do this. We don't prevent the damage from him. Well, we prevent half of it. But we healed up more than we took, so... So you, sir, are dead. You will die to the poison. I am quite pleased with that. Flex is almost always good. So, not certain how well we're sticking to this whole defense thing, but probably a better idea since we don't really have the key card to make a defense really work, as his metallicize is just help us a little bit. That's kind of a terrible hand as well. Uh, the number of terrible hands we're getting does strongly suggest we've got a bad deck. More than anything. Uh, no reason to spin the impervious. We'd really like to get that on the big attack turn. Uh, you know what? I'll get a little more healing and that's about it. Alright, what do you got for us? I can just barely force him to split. Okay, a little more than just barely, but still not great. So, to avoid having to worry about that, we will do that. We want our better bash to be the free one. And it didn't matter too much. Okay, that's a lot of damage coming at us. It's in fact 17, uh, 30 something. Now let's block all the way through it. Almost all the way through it, anyways. Again, nobody attacking right now. Barely gotten any use on a spot weakness, just... Ah. Oh, you do that. Whack you. I mean, it doesn't matter too awful much. Thank goodness for Metallicize, though. Because he's dead to... Any attack, really? Go ahead and get a little more... That. Gonna take the full hit here. I mean, minus my metallicize, obviously. Absolutely nothing there. At least... He's not really getting much in the way attacks. Did I... Like... Starting to think I'd accidentally somehow exhausted some cards. Because it's not like my deck's that large. Uh, well, we can kill one of you. The bash doesn't matter. Dead either way. And boom. Do we play with that? We've got bloodletting. That kind of tempts me to go that route. None of these really call to me, sadly enough. All right. We'll take this route. And metallic size, flex. And a little bit of action. Now he's going to hex me, which means uh, pure and utter annoyance. And again, not attacking when I get spot weakness. 
Oh, hello. Oh, we're taking a gamble here. Please hit. Oh. Wanted to make demon form free. That's a utterly terrible hand, and obviously he's going to make our draws even worse. Got that, and that's it. Uh, he's not attacking, so I will pop demon form. I mean, maybe that first turn I should have popped demon form. Might have been a good idea. Uh, you know what? I'll go ahead and do this. Not the greatest time for it. But, yeah, I probably should have let it ride for a little longer. But on the other hand, he's going to be dead probably next turn, unless we get an utterly terrible turn. Yep, he's dead precisely. Actually, not quite precisely, because that didn't take into account the... Ooh. You know what? I could get some use out of that, I think. One of those. Alright. And I will heal up. You know? I'll go Vampirism just because I've got the ability to gain max HP. Seems positive. Gonna upgrade that. Again, our primary hope is to be able to land it on demon form. But barring that, a completely worthless turn. Worse than worthless. Uh, let's see. You know what? Just solid attack. Oh, the metallicize. On the assumption that we can recover it with, okay, let's see, ah, well, you know what, if I do this, 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 there's, there's no reason not to just play that straight, actually, I had literally nothing else to do. Okay, so, can I deal enough damage? No. No, I cannot. I don't know if there was much to do about it. Maybe if I could have played Demon Form earlier? I don't think I had that much opportunity to, though. What I should do, however, is upgrade this. Because if we're going to play it, we want it to be as good as possible. Okay, self forming clay will be lovely. We're going to have to fight an extra elite. And... No reason to madness any of that business. We'll riskily take that now. We can heal that back. Reaper will be really nice if we're... Ooh, yes, please. Uh, if we're buffed up on strength, so... I'll take the hits. For now. Play all this business. Go ahead and... Why oh, I forgot how much... How quickly his strength ramps up. Or... Oh, I got... Oh, that's nasty. I did not notice that. Uh-oh. I might be dead right here. Uh, do that. Drink this. Should drink that sooner. I'm... Just barely surviving. Oh, boy. Nope. No, that's any good. Maybe I should just play Madness to get rid of it. Um. I think our best bet is to play Impervious. Play Flex and bite him. Heal as much as we can. And. Ah, Reaper. Perfect. I think. 36, we need four more hit points. Uh, right, okay, we would have been just barely safe by that. That's good to know. Oh, goodness. 
max HP. Give me... Oh, no. Um, Talon Size. Impervious now. This is a fight we might... want Demon Form for. You know, actually, I think it would have been better to play that straight and apply Madness to the de Defend. I'm just going to apply it to whatever. Uh, but applying to the defense, you know, we're going to keep that. We could do it all anyways, so. Uh, this will balance me out. Basically gaining what we would are, we're going to lose. I mean, aside from the... You know what, let's block. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked. Aside from the bonus defense from that. Okay, you should be dead. Now the question is, can we come back from the ridiculously low health we have? I'm not sure. Please give me a heal. Oh dear. I I think I have to take the curse. All right, strength here. We'll play this. I can't afford to bloodlet. I don't think. Well, no, it's basically. 1 HP. And then I got 3 block next turn on it. So yeah, not ba that bad. I will survive, so. Alright, so. Play these 3. Yeah, that'll work. Talicized, Fend, Bite, Madness, the Reaper. Get us some strength gain and we're actually. or health gain, rather. Well. Nothing to do but block here. Yeah, playing those don't help. Yeah, we're in kind of struggle mode here. Huh. Give me... Demon form. Uh-oh. I think... This is it, folks deck was just a little too sloppy and messy. We had some interesting things going on. I certainly enjoyed it. And, you know, I was lucky to win, but I do, I kind of enjoy putting together, like, the weird decks. See if we can shake out a different deck archetype. Probably not going to happen. Most of the deck archetypes are, you know, the cards are kind of designed around them becoming those archetypes. But, you never know, may come up with something weird and unexpected. So, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments. But, uh, until next time, catch you later.